What's up guys? A lot of you been asking how come I have not been checking with the bees? Well, it's been cold, they've been inside of this hive and I did not want to open them up so they don't get cold. So I have, still have seven hives. Let's see if all of them survive. So it's finally warm and we're going to check on them and see how they're doing and today I'm going to put them pollen puddies, people puddies and look this is pollen right here it's going to help them out a lot to start off this season also I'm going to explain you what mistakes I did last year and I'm actually going to change it up these hives if they are smaller hives I'm gonna take off a second box only give them one box so let's see what we're going to do okay let's see how well this hive is doing oh wow I really thought this was the uh the weak height but you know what they're doing good look at that it's awesome wow that's a lot of bee bees and they're building a lot of comb that's beautiful how well is this high remember when i take the frame out i gotta put it back the way it was I do not want to change anything okay there is you see the butt sticking out right here this is Dawn's male bee and right there that's a bee worker female so this hive is doing amazing I don't even have to open them up to the bottom but I might anyways but wow this is a strong hive and guess what this is used to be my weakest hive and this hive is doing so well wow awesome so now let's see how is the bottom board is doing i wish they would expand their hive i guess when they fill it up this summer they're gonna fill it in all the way here as well just like that this one two three four five frames is full of uh, honeycomb and there is already brood there let's smoke them so that way they're not in the way so I can actually check on them and see if they sick if there's any kind of diseases on them to check it out but wow I'm amazed this hives are doing amazing look how strong this hive so many bees in there incredible look at that I'm really amazed to see they still even have honey in there and pollen this is awesome you see this yellow stuff this is pollen so they're bringing lots of lots of pollen right now. I don't even have to help them, they're doing so good. This is awesome. Beautiful, look at that stone hive full of bees. Okay, I'm just gonna lock them all up and give them one party of the pollen just to boost them up even more because I actually wanna split and make another hive. In the future beekeeping videos, I'll show you and teach you how to do it. Okay, let's check on this hive now. I hope all my hives are doing good. You never know, each hive is so different. Nice, this hive survived as well. Not as strong as this one, but still lots of bees in there. Because this hive is a lot smaller, I'm going to reduce it into all one box instead of two boxes. It's because of more space, more bees need to cover the whole hive and it just reduced the productivity of the bees. So this is what we're going to do right now. Wow, they ate all the sugar water. Maybe I should add more sugar water for them. Open this up, nice. Bottom box only has one, two, three, only four frames that has honeycomb. We want to have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames filled up with bees and honeycombs and then we're gonna put another empty box so I'm going to take all these frames with comb and just fill them up right here so that way they have less space to take care of and once they get really really strong I'm gonna add the second box so I'm going to take off all these empty frames and now I'm just going to push these frames in this way oh gotta need need more smoke so now I'm gonna push all this together, all these frames in one place and then all this in a row together and put them right next to it. You can use a tool like this to grab the frame out, maybe it will be easier but you gotta be very very careful not to grab 
boom. They've been burning lots of honey. And a smaller hive usually has more honey because there's less bees to eat it. So there's always different type of problems you run into. Maybe bigger hives you have to feed more. So you see why I'm putting this hive together in one box? There's barely any comb over here, very little bit. So I'll let them get stronger on a one box and then once they're ready I'll give them more space. When there is, once there is a lot more bees I'll give them way more space. Last year I made this mistake. There was only four frames were filled up and I said put it a second box. You want to wait till you have eight frames filled up all the way with brood and honey. Then you take off two frames out, put a second box on and put two empty right here and two put full ones in here. But you see I did it too early, that's why I slowed down the growth of the hive. So that's a mistake I've done. In a future beekeeping videos I'll show you how to add a second box without any mistakes that I've done last year. So I'm just going to put it in like this. Boom, beautiful. And this is the last one. Actually this one is kind of empty, you see, so I'll just keep it here for now. And I'll push this in together. And they like everything tight, so make sure you push all this very tight together. And the last one, I'll stick this one in here. So what I'm gonna do is grab one of this and then just make a few lines like this. So they can eat it through the wax paper like that. Usually I don't even need that much. Usually I would get one third, but I wanna split couple hives, so I want them really build up. So I'm gonna give them extra. And then I'm gonna put this party right here, right in the middle, boom. They're definitely happy bees, look at them tearing that pollen party apart. There is some over there too. Beautiful. So boom, you see how much smaller this hive is? versus this one. This is what I'm going to do to all of my beehives. There's kind of smaller hives. The big hives, of course, like this one, they need more space. They're going to even multiply really, really soon. So they're going to need all the space that they can get. But let me show you another thing real quick. You see over winter, quite a few bees have died, but that's normal, you know? There's some more bees right there. Well guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.